Hello, beautiful souls. But if you're dealing with a specific relationship, there may have been a powerful soul bond there, and so you self-sacrificed temporarily your sense of worth and value, hoping that you could somehow heal or shift this other person externally. But now, again, this powerful metamorphosis has happened within you, and what you are shifting into is a frequency of both abundance and unconditional love. The abundance is allowing you to open to an abundance of options, possibilities, and potential high vibrational timelines that you could align with in your life, whereas the unconditional love frequency is keeping you fully connected to your own sense of worth and value, while also naturally emanating this free love energy frequency to everyone and everything around you, which is essentially a great component of your purpose here on Earth as a soul. I'm hearing you are opening hearts and minds. So although this journey may have looked highly individual, this shift that's taking place within you into self-empowerment, into that unconditionally loving frequency, this individual shift within you has had a very widespread collective impact. Because through really opening your own energetic field and keeping your own heart wide open, you are naturally radiating a powerful energetic signal that is opening the hearts and minds of anyone who has the privilege to touch or connect with your energy, even telepathically or psychically. So there are many who are wanting to touch or connect with your energy that you may not even be fully aware of. This could be strangers that you interact with. Even the smallest, seemingly most insignificant forms of interaction could be at the soul level, at the subconscious level, Someone who desires to briefly connect with you to receive that heart-opening, mind-expanding impact of being in proximity to your energetic field. I'm hearing someone's guides very clearly say, know the power of your energy. Here we have walking the way, strategy, and attachment in the reverse position. So, there's a higher divine plan at play in a situation where you feel as though you had to walk away from something to break free of a stuck energetic pattern. And because that is the direction that your intuition was guiding you, I feel that when you held on to this person or situation, naturally you kept your third eye a bit blocked or closed off, not intentionally, but simply because, although you are this highly intuitive, highly spiritually connected and gifted being, it's almost like you chose to forego listening to some of that intuition. I'm hearing you chose to be blind energetically to someone or something in your life. I'm hearing blind spot. You made an exception, possibly for someone or something in your life that you cared a lot about, that you had a lot of love for, a lot of desire to connect with or to continue with. But over time, allowing yourself this blind spot, again, this may have been very subconscious, allowing yourself to not fully see how this person or situation was actually treating you or what their true level of vibration was or their true intentions were. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.